Hang and hello, Let's Play fans. It's your old pal Berg787, back with a brand new episode of our Europa Universalis for El Dorado playthrough with Castile, or as we are now, Spain. Um, not really much really to set up in this intro. Uh, we've got our colonies working. We should soon have another colonial nation over here, which will be, uh, I always forget, no, that's the wrong button. If we come out of here, do that. It should be, I don't know, colonial Sp colonial Mexico, Spanish Mexico, I don't know, some junk like that. Uh, and we are going to be soon, hopefully, doing something here as well, getting one in wherever that is. Is that going to tell me? Colonial Eastern America. Okay, so uh, we are hot on the trail to get our uh, five colonial nations, which will be one of my priorities to get. Uh, once we've done that, we'll get that achievement. And still looking for those damn cities of gold. Still looking for them. Can't find them. I think I mentioned it a couple of episodes ago. I think the developers might have been trolling us. Maybe they don't actually exist. But uh, anyway, enough of that. Let's just quickly see what we do have up here. No mission. I don't really want to do any of those missions. They're all rubbish. Uh, new idea. We could uh, get this. What does this do? Oh yeah, all our leaders get plus one shock, which is pretty handy. Uh, how are we doing in military tech? We're running a little bit behind the time. So yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll get that. Bop, superb, and uh, let's play. Let's go. Who's this over here? Up France, French Bermuda. Nice, good for them. Uh, they tell of in, oh, at the end of internal conflicts in Tlemcen. That's good for them. I was well. I wasn't really ever going to go and attack them. To be fair, not whilst not one while they have the Ottomans as their buddy. And I mean, you know, me and Venice together. Maybe we could, you know, keep them at bay while I beat up on Tlemcen, but. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'd rather pick uh, easier prey. And by easier prey, I mean maybe going into uh, the Papal States over here, because I do have a claim that's being fabricated in Calabria. That'd be kind of good to make our way into Italy. Who the Pope got as allies again? Hungary, who are nobodies, Corsica, Palatine and Savoy, so a bunch of nobodies. Uh, good. Wool is going to be produced in whatever the fuck that province is called. I can't pronounce it. So I won't bother trying. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass myself more than I do anyway. That's a hell of a lot of ships. Look at that. Like little ants. Except sea-based ants. Sea ants. Just roaming around. Uh, oh, cocoa. Excellent. Everyone likes a bit of cocoa. Now what's going on up here? Have a little look around the world. Oh, that's a lot of rebels. Reformist zealots in Sweden. Well, they've got enough troops that they could go and beat them up, but... Maybe they don't want to. What's this? Religious League membership. Portugal joined the Catholic League against their... Uh, common foes in the Emperor Empire, okay, interesting. My king, the ungrateful natives, yeah, well, they're just going to get beat up like natives do. It's, uh, you know, us Spanish, we've got a couple of hobbies in life. One is beating up on natives, we love doing that, and the other is beating up on the Portuguese, who are basically like our uh, European neighbour natives, if you will. We've beaten up on them so badly that that's all that's left of them in the Iberian Peninsula. They've got um, land around the world, obviously, down here, and they did have more down here, but I took that from them. Basically, they've got what I'm allowing them to have. Did they have some stuff over here? Is this green stuff theirs as well? Uh, no, it's not. It just happens to be green as well. What's going on over here? Loads of stuff. Interesting. There you go. Forgot we could see this part of the world. Look at Delhi. And Bukhara. Bukhara. That's a great name. I like Bukhara. Muscovy. So Russia. Still no Russia. Look at Kazan hanging in there. By themselves, little little spot in the middle of Muscovy. Uh, anyway, what do we have to do? Oh yeah, didn't we get some rivals that I didn't have any diplomats? Well, I still don't have any diplomats to be able to do anything about what was done. What's this? Pope, blah blah blah. He's loyal to Poland. Good for him. Lost all interest in the Pope, to be honest. Um, what did I want to go and have a look at? Oh, we could get another idea. Oh, that would end this, which would be pretty good. Uh, what do we get? more global trade power, that's pretty good, and it would also give us treasure fleets, so global tariffs increase global potential, well that's pretty good, might as well complete our expansionist ideas, a Jesuit mission founded, the hell's this, local settler increase, okay, that's good, like that, uh, boom, we'll get that done, okay, cool, our truce with those bums has ended, don't really care, so treasure fleet, blah blah blah, uh, what else here, Globe? yeah that's all that done, so we've done there, excellent, so we can start putting all of our stuff into administrative ideas, which is good, fur, okay that's pretty good, 
for oh, whoa, 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 pause for a second. Uh, our king, we have been informed that our agent in Roma has been discovered. Okay, that's fine. Um, we've gained an overseas expansion, Cassis Belly, against. Wow, that's a lot of people. Okay, right, because we completed expansion ideas, right? So we've got. We can basically beat up on all of these countries we've got, right, to go and fight them. Which is handy. Always nice to be able to, you know, claim right to beating you up, showing my superiority. That's what I might do. I don't know who I'm going to show superior on. Morocco's having all kinds of issues. Look at this, Moroccan noble rebels. Deary me, bad times for them. So we're almost done. Does anyone care if we really beat up on the Pope? Uh, poor government policies. Okay, so we have chosen the right policies. We would lose one stability, or we would lose a bunch of ducats. Um, since I have a load of ducats, I don't mind losing some. Basically, is the answer to that, so we'll do that. We gained our CB against them. Right, uh, what was I wanting to have a look at? I want to see who were our rivals. That was what I wanted to see. Um, England, the Ottomans, and Austria. Are we embargoing all of these? I think it's England who we weren't embargoing. Colony is self-sufficient. Excellent. I improve relations with Corsica. Oh, that's right as well. That's something I wanted to do. Let me just pause it. Can we... Um... Oh, no, we're not friendly enough with them. Not friendly enough. That's rather annoying. Because I think what I wanted to do was... How do I do it? Where do I go? Relation, actions, no. Influence, offer vassalization, yeah. Oh, right, because they're a member of the Emperor. All right, well, that was all pretty pointless. Oh, well, never mind. I'll know that for next time. Who are England at war with? Danzig, Bremen, and the Hansa. Okay, interesting. Um, do, 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 economic actions, issue embargo. There we go. And we are already embargoing the Ottomans, aren't we? Pretty sure we are. Yes, we are. And who are our rivals? Oh, yeah, Austria. Well, we've had Austria as our rivals for so long that I'd be shocked if we weren't embargoing them. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Continue. Have they happened to have jazzed the new mission for us? No, of course they haven't. They've kept us with these shoddy missions. What's this? Uh, our diplomats are free. Um, you know what I might do? Just go on and uh, improve relations with France. Just because, you know. I don't really want to get into fisticuffs with France. Let's face it. Uh, relations, actions, improve relations. Boop. I'll do that. Uh, meanwhile, what else could we do? What else could we do? We could probably start moving some of these guys around. So where have we finished our colonies? Finished one. I don't know where it was. Was it over here by any chance? Yeah, I think it was in Puerto Rico. I think that's where we were working on one. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think that's what, what the colony was. So what we'll do... <clears throat> Sorry, pardon me. Where's our transport ships? Got so many ships around the world, I don't know where they all are. Uh, and that's not you. Is it you? Yes, it's you. Excellent. Okay, so you come over... Yeah, they are our... Tri yeah, they have uh, been confused since the flag changed. Can they come in here? I think the port's on that side, but maybe they can come in that side. What we'll do is we'll get you guys to jump on board. We'll move you up here and we'll go and do another colony over here. Meanwhile, it probably wouldn't be an awful idea, would it, to maybe try and get... Well, actually, you should be... Able to, like, I told him to do it ages ago, this fucking idiot, but he won't seem to do it. Go and search for the seven cities. Look, he just refuses to do it. I don't know why that is. France declared war on Austria. Interesting. Succession war. Oh, right, okay. So, I don't understand why they just won't do anything. Maybe if I move them out of there, they'll do something. <laughs> I don't see why that would make a difference, but... We can only ask the question. Yeah, you can move on to it from there. That's fine. Even though the... Is the port on that side? Yeah, no. I don't know. The port is on this side. That's fine. What's going on here? Military actions from Venice and France. Okay, I mean, yeah. We'll accept. We'll accept. Why not? No reason not to. Uh, you come over here. Drop some more troops off there. That'll be fine. You're just hanging out here. Could you... Is there, like, just not enough of you? I don't understand why you won't do it. Maybe there's not enough of them. If I move you back here, maybe you five could do it. Really confused as to why they won't do it. So if we gave you him, yeah, and then we sent you... No, they just won't search for it anymore. I don't understand. There must be a reason for it. Maybe, I, I, actually, I think I may have touched on it in the last episode. I think maybe we've just explored everywhere and we didn't find it. And that's it, we just no longer talk about it, like as if it never existed. No, what, what are you talking about? What cities are gold? We never tried to find any of those. Crazy. Um, 
Okay, so we're going to need that explorer over here or conquistador. Yep, you're there. Move into no, this province here by the coast. That would be handy, wouldn't it? Handy, handy. Come on, chug, chug, chug. Chug, chug. Beat up on those natives. We love doing that. Um, what's this province? Cusabo. Alright, Cusabo. Welcome to Spanish colonist, col colonists, Billy colonists, col colonists. That's the word I was looking for. Could we get another advisor? Probably need more military power since that's one of our ideas. How much money do we make? Well, we make loads of money. We could get a better guy than that. Where are our smelly advisors? There we go. <clears throat> well, we don't have one that's massively better, but two is better than one, so we'll get you. Don't need anyone in diplomacy, I suppose, so we'll keep making that money. We've got some rebels coming. Portuguese. Where's this? Oh, yeah, down in uh, West Africa, in Sierra Leone and places. We do have 10,000 troops. We've got some caravels. What are they doing here? Oh, are they meant to be going to the Amazons? Did they, like, damage themselves trying to get over there? Guess they did. Well, hurry up. Fix yourselves. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Meanwhile, how's our truce with Portugal? When does that expire? 68. Oh, wow. Okay, so a long time. We won't be going to war with them anytime soon. Truce with Ashanti is over. Shanty town, squatter camp. To build the perfect compound. Um, these flutes. These dug fluties. Um, I could probably do with actually some more men down in West Africa. Just in case we do get some uh, some rebels. Dirty rebels. Meanwhile, you guys should probably uh, move into these provinces as well. Just to have a little bit of a military presence there to lower any ideas that they might have of rebelling turning to uh, t turning back to Portugal because it's not going to happen even if it by some miracle did happen I would just have to crush them again and take them this um it's quite a melee going on over here this could be the time to pounce them for I don't want to fight for well whilst Venice are involved in this war France probably aren't going to do quite well here Wait, there's some Ottoman troops over here what are they doing here who are they at war with so they're at war with Bosnia and they're the defender against France and the Saxon concession wars? What the hell have they got to do with it? Oh, well, it's not my business. As they say, Istanbul was Constantinople. Why they changed it, I can't say. People just liked it better that way. And then there's some sort of line about old New York was once New Amsterdam and why they changed it, I can't... No, 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 what was it? It's nobody's business but the Turks. That was the line I was looking for from the song. So yeah, why they're involved in that Saxony jostle over here. It's nobody's business but theirs. That's a lot of Turkish troops, though, or Ottoman troops, I should say. Bosnia. Um, bye. <laughs> Basically, you're going to be eaten by the Ottoman Empire. I wonder what these guys are going to do. They don't seem to really care that the Ottomans are just encroaching all over Europe. Again, though, not really my problem. It's your problem, Austria. Deal with it. You want to be so big and powerful, maybe you should, um, you know, defend these countries around your border. <clears throat> on me. Ba, 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 ba. Do I want to go and fight the Pope? I mean, I wouldn't mind. Who's he at war with? France and Liège. And he's still got his rubbish... his rubbish, rubbish um, alliances. If I was to declare war, so all of his people would jump in. None of my people would jump in, but distant... well, for Sweden, yeah, okay, I can understand that. Tuscany... Tuscany wouldn't jump in for a hell of a lot of... Re well, because they, they've got a truce and stuff like that. Venice, they're fighting a war on the same side as the enemy. Yeah, so, okay, well, we won't go to war with them just yet. Uh, what's going on down here? So, you guys are in these two provinces, which could be problematic. There's some sort of issues going on. But there won't be another revolt there for about, what, about 37 years. That's a long time. We'll probably have been finished playing in 37 years. Are you fixed? Are you going to keep damaging yourselves while trying to protect trade around here. Because if you're going to keep, like, dec decimating yourselves, it might be a good idea not to do that. Okay, so... Is this the route they have to take to protect the Amazon trade? That seems really weird. Oh, well. Let them do it. I don't care. I'm making loads of money. What difference does it make to me? How are our colonies coming on? Yep, all nice and good. We're, uh, improving relations still with France. Oh good, I feel like we need to go to war with someone. 
I do have a bunch of troops here. I could go to war with like these chumps. Maya, who, who are you friends with? Well, local fortifications expert, so gain a military engineer. I'll gain that to the end of the game. That is pretty good, gaining that to the end of the game, I would say. I think I will take that, just in case someone decides to uh, <clears throat> mess with me. Who are you allied with? Oh, no, you're a vassal of the Maya. Okay. And who are you allied with? Colonia and someone else. Okay. I feel like I could beat you up, though. Uh, okay, so cool. We've got another province which has become self-sufficient. Excellent. Which one is it? I, I don't know all the names here. I know they just told me. Was it this one? Yeah, I think it was this one. Cool. This one's with the main trading port. Okay, fantastic. So, I suppose we don't need you here anymore. We can get some more troops to go on. I don't need you here either. Where's that ships? There we are. That's who I need. Come over here. Pick these guys up. And then we'll uh, get another colony over here. That'd be good. That colonist jumped really quickly, actually, because it was it was only about 50%. I didn't think I had anything particularly more than 50%, and all of a sudden, boom, settled. Which is great. As you can tell, I'm not coughing as much as I have been in the last couple of episodes. I am feeling a lot better, but um, I'm still not, you know, 100%. I've got a bit of a, a bit of a gravel to my voice at the moment, but I feel good, which is the important thing. Uh, okay, attach you. Click you on there. Improve relations with France to the maximum potential that we could, or maximum possibility. We will recall you, that's fine. You, 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 you've got them, yeah, they're on your boat, that's excellent. We'll move you over here. Go to the Sea Islands. That's a very nice name. When does our truce with England expire? Our truce with England has expired, okay. So in theory we could go and beat up on them again and take some stuff. Uh, they seem to be involved in a war themselves at the moment. They're, oh yeah, they're in that war, aren't they, that I looked at earlier. So if we did declare war on England, to take that, Venice would join, but again, I don't really care. Why wouldn't Sweden join? Because they're in a war, they've got a defensive attitude. Why they got def Why? We're not going to fight you. Okay, that's fine. Alright, well, we'll wait for them to come out of their war. Who exactly is Sweden fighting again? Poland, Moldovia, Hungary, and Genoa. Okay. Interesting. Lots of wars going on. France are getting absolutely smited. Might not be the worst time for me to jump in on France here. Well, I don't have any reason to fight them. I mean, declare war. I know, I probably do, actually. I could show superiority. Could take some of their lands. Don't know if I really want to get involved, though. Probably best just to be a casual observer. Watching it from afar. Laughing at their misfortune. <laughs> <laughs> Silly baguettes. Morocco, that's a lot of rebels. Um, okay. Zooming in and around the world. Arawak. Weird little province. Why hasn't New Granada gone and beat them up? Why don't these colonial nations ever do anything? Why don't they do any colonizing themselves as well? Maybe they do, I just haven't noticed. Uh, have you arrived? Well, you're just hanging out in the Sea Islands. No, what, what you should do is land. There we go. That's a good idea. And the guys who have the Explorer, you can go up one. And then we can get another colony. Cologne, civil disorder, excellent. Morocco no longer considers Portugal a rival. Not sure who that's a bigger insult to. Morocco or Portugal. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's quite a nice province in Santi. Santi... Uh, excellent. San Salvador has become self-sufficient. Uh, New Spain has been created. Excellent. That's exactly what it's called. New Spain. Fantastic. So we've got our fourth colony. We only need one more. One more bloody colony. That would be awesome if we could get it. Uh, well, we will get it fairly soon. Oh, you can hunt for the seven cities when you're here. Right. Okay. So that's interesting. You just couldn't hunt. There was nowhere else for you to hunt down here. Okay. So go and do that whilst we uh, go and pick up some more troops from New Spain. Like this 5,000, probably be a good idea. So come back down. This is like a little regular ferry trip for you to do. Maybe you should start charging. Pick up some natives, drop them off. Now they might want to see what, you know, this east coast of, of the United States, well, not the United States, but this land is like Quivera. The lack of wealth in Chicon is disappointing. The conquistadors, greedy, but they're blah, 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 right, whatever. So yearly prestige increases till the end of the game, basically, or just gain straight five prestige. Now we'll take that. <coughs> Pardon me. 
I always think it's a good idea to take stuff that will improve to the end of the game. In general, I mean, not always, but in most cases. Can you can we click on you? Can you get on board? There we go. And you can come over here just in case we get some rebels who not rebels, but you know what I'm talking about. Marshal Oh whoa 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 pause. Okay, the nation of Sweden, your faithful allies requesting that you come to their aid. Who are we fighting here? Okay, well we can jump in this war. I mean there's literally nobody who's anywhere near us. There's nothing we can actually do to help them in this war, but we'll join in just to say we're we're doing something. Excellent, we got another trade fleet. Fantastic, I love my trade fleet. I'm mean, not my trade fleet, you know what I mean. The gold. Gold. That's what it's all about. Gold always believed in you, sir. You've got the power to grow. That's it. Search. Be nice if we could find one of those bloody cities of gold before the end of the game. Since that's how I started this campaign, saying that's what I was going to do, maybe I should unpause it as well. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Come on. Find. Search. Hunt. What am I paying you for? Uh, cotton. Bit of dot cotton. The survivor. Uh, lose five prestige. Gain 50 administrative power. We get a new conquistador, do we? I don't really need another one. Well, maybe having another one wouldn't be a bad idea in losing five prestige. I'll gain 50 administrative points. Yeah, we'll do that. What's happened? Oh, right. So we one died just as we got another one. That's a bit rubbish. Well, continue what you were doing then. Just do it with someone else. You land there. You go there. Cool. Did this become a colony? It did. Okay, excellent. Oh, what's going on here? I don't want to lose. We'll lose some more prestige. That's fine. Uh, what else can we do? You. Should we get another conquistador? Just to hurry this up. See if we can find an. Oh, he's pretty good. You go search as well. That's fine. You beat up on them. We'll unpause the game. So we've got again. We've got some spare colonists. Uh, you are still colonizing. You are waiting for some colonists to arrive, are you? No, they oh no, they will arrive pretty shortly. That's fine. You keep searching. You keep searching, good sir. You move to the coast. When natives attack. It sounds like a show on the Discovery Channel. This is a bit rubbish. What's going on? We just keep losing prestige and diplomatic points and stuff like that. Well, we, we've got loads of diplomatic points, actually, so we should probably just take that. That's probably a better idea. Um, pause. We'll get our ferry to come back. There we go. This is great. Show them. Show Aelan. Go for the eyes. Oh, is that a reference to Baldur's Gate? Go for the eyes, boo! The eyes! There we go. We'll get that. Um, I should probably go and check out what's going on in that war that I'm involved in. We're winning it, which is good. Good times. It's, what is it? Show superiority. A lot of people involved in this. Well, not really, actually. There's... Sweden, Scotland, Spain, and then all of my colonial nations against all of these suckers. Denmark isn't really anybody. Uh, conquest. Alright, who cares about that? Drunken whiskey. Oh, not more drunken fucking whiskey thieves. Um, what do we want? kind of want more military power at the moment, so we'll get that. Just because we've got ideas and whatnot. Oh, we can go up in technology. All oh, right, diplomatic tech. Fucking hell, we're so far ahead in the times. Yeah, go on, why not? And we can upgrade some troops as well. We've got so much money. Money coming out of our bum holes. So we'll upgrade you. And what else can we upgrade? I didn't quite catch what the other one was. I was being a bit too quick. Um, Briggs. Okay, so it's our transports that we can upgrade. You upgrade. Yep, that's fine. Uh, should we upgrade our other ones over here just before we send them back on that ferry? We can't. Is it because they've got. Right, okay, so if we jog you guys out and select you. Okay, so what? We don't have a port. Oh, who cares? It's not really that big a deal. Alright, unpause. You hook on to that and come over here. Join us. Um, do we want to go and get... No, I actually don't want to fall too far behind in military technology, so we'll wait for that. That's quite a lot of whoever that is. 10,000. Uh, do we have any good missions? Of course we don't. Oh, protect against the Ottomans. We could do that. 
94. Could we actually build that without going over our force limit? No, no, we can't, so we won't. Uh, my king there has been informed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fruitful city. Well settled with uh, sweet grapes, mulberries, pound excess, abundant jade deposits, blah, blah, blah. But no gold at all. The legendary city exists. Although wealthy, it's not how we were told to picture it. At least we found it. All oh, right, okay, so we have found it. Spain gets golden cups. Giving them the following plus five. Okay, so we found the fucking city of gold. It's not really a golden city, but we found it. Excellent. Okay, so that's done. Uh, what's this? Commander in Madrid. Sus has been discovered fabricating a claim on our province in the Canary. Who the fuck is Sus? Who? Who? Oh, right. Okay. Interesting, so that, that's what happened when rebels attack in Morocco. Uh, and they're fabricating claims, are they? <laughs> Alright, buddy. Um, please attack me. That's what I would say. Please attack me. That'd be quite funny. On smite you. So, we found... Is that it, then? We found the City of Gold. I don't know, they seem to be still searching, so... Maybe we didn't find the right one, but that's what it said we did. You land here. So these two, wait, hold on, this is still colonizing and that's still colonizing, then we're going to get another one here, and then we're going to have to go and get some more troops to colonize again, so that, and that, those two next ones are pretty good actually, so. Okay, good, you've landed. You 2,000 men, march over here, and while you're doing that, we shall send the colonists over. Wonderful. And we can probably go and ferry some more troops. Colonial conquest. There's loads of stuff going on. Too much stuff, to be honest. Uh, we've gained another CB. Fantastic. CB finding. You make your way back here. Are you going to come? Yeah, okay, there we go. I knew you were going to get there eventually. You attach. I'll move you over here. Come on, buddy. Sail those ships. Salem, goddammit. Poison rock. Yeah, we seem to hit that quite often as well. That whiskey thieves and drinking muddy water. Always fun. Are you just... Alright, you are doing stuff. I feel like we would have got an achievement though for it, right? If we actually had been finding the City of Gold. It kind of claimed that we did, but it wasn't really what we thought it was going to be. So I was a bit confused by it, but... They got rebels instantly again. Moroccan noble rebels. That's an awesome area of the world to... Have. Wow, look at France. I can only sit back and laugh, to be honest. I think it's pretty funny. Uh, i tell you what's not funny, though. Sweden having a few issues here. Well, I don't really care if we were to lose that war. I mean, I'm only in it in spirit. I don't really know what Sweden expected me to do. A bit too far away. I mean, if I was involved in a war down here, they wouldn't come. New World beckons. Words, prosperous new world in the West, attracting quite a lot of people who wish to enhance their futures there. The question is who to send on our next ships. Settler chance increases that, or gain what? A conquistador with five tradition. We don't need another conquistador, to be honest, so we'll do that just to speed up our colonies. And we've got you. Land, goddammit. There we go, and you three can go down here. To, where is this? Chikora. Chikora, Chikora. That's where we'll go. Uh, what can we invest in technology? Excellent. Admin tech. It's been a while since we've gone up in admin tech, so we'll do that. Hunky dory. Hick sunt dracones. Okay, what's this? 50 military power, 50 administrative points. I'll take the military power, because again, we need it for two different things. Our ideas and our military power, obviously. So that's good. We've got four colonies on the go, all where we need them. What's going on here? We've gained a... CB against Albanaki, whoever the hell they are. Regrettably, we lost one against them. Don't care. Good. All right, okay, well, we've pulled things back in this war over here. We were in the negatives, but now we're back to zero, which is pretty good. France. Deary me, France. Deary me, indeed. Uh, we've gained a CB against the Iroquois. Don't care. What, what's this for? Is this... Oh, yeah, for that. I don't want that, so we'll just get rid of that for the time being. I actually want to improve our military tech properly. So far ahead. 19 years ahead in diplomacy. So advanced. 
Uh, this is the same thing again. Oh, well, I'll take some more military power. Why not? If you're just offering it to me. There we go. That got us there pretty quickly. Did we get new troops? Yeah, we do. We get new uh, cast iron cannons. Okay. Good stuff. So what I will do very quickly is pause. Go to here. Uh, do we want the large variety or the small variety? Since we don't do a lot of attacking, we'll take the small variety. Beat up on some natives some more. I say that we don't do a lot of attacking, but you know what I meant. Um, and I think since we've got it paused and we are about around the half hour mark, I'm going to end this video here. So quite a lot going on. It seems like weird that we didn't actually have a war in this video. We seem to have warred quite often, but um, we did get a lot done. We've found possibly a city of gold. I don't think we did. I'm going to actually have to read up about that in between episodes to see whether you do get an actual achievement for it. I feel like you should. So we didn't get achievement even though it said we'd found it. I'm dubious as to that. But we are well on our way to getting our fifth colonial nation, which once we've done that, hey-ho, excellent. And I might actually end the series when we've done that. I just want to read up about that city of gold. So thanks for watching, guys, and we shall see each other next time.